Hey, uh. To whoever may need this nugget of encouragement Things will be alright, so quit your worry I get it, the eyes can stack back against the wall But even consider it such, no, you'll stand tall yeah. Sat and watch from the sidelines One too many times, we get games to play Make me wanna lose my mind we are here at the Godrej Material Handling Equipment Facility uh, in Vikroli, the sprawling green facility at uh, Godrej Enterprises. Today uh, happens to be a very important milestone day. It's a new product launch. Uh, the company has pioneered electric uh, material handling equipment, uh, diesel uh, material handling equipment also. But this happens to be India's first indigenously built electric forklift. It's the UNO series, uh, it's the GX200E model and it is built on a 40 volt uh, uh, architecture that allows uh, highest uptime as well as quick turnaround times in manufacturing plants specifically if you, uh, I can give you an example of automotive manufacturing plants and warehouses which seems to be doubling up uh, in the Indian market. Let's have a very quick familiarization of what you see. This of course is the front part, the nose of the vehicle which will allow you to go underneath the pellet and lift the pellet to heights as high as from 6 meters to about 12 meters you can see the build quality of the machine uh, it's very sturdy built absolutely a, a good mixture of the electric powertrain using hydraulics in place you can see just the quality of the chain over here if i can show you a, a, a close-up over here the, the aggregates of this 100 percent indigenous model are very very uh, robust the the idea is to give the highest uptime the highest service interval with regular amcs in place you can buy the uh, vehicle upfront or you can also opt for a dry lease or a wet lease depending on the scale of your business the focus is also to empower msmes where msmes who don't have the the financial muscle power to uh, upfront buy a machine they can look at wet leasing plans to get hold of this machine and uh, uh, increase their output look at these um, uh, wheels these are wide wall wheels over here very steady speci specially built for this sort of an application this is the the open cabin area where safety is paramount so you see three point seat belts you see a handbrake you see the the steering wheel over here uh, you have the brake pedal and a large uh, comfortable footrest in terms of the the acceleration underneath the seat if you open up this cabin uh, you will find access to critical e-mobility components like your uh, motor etc uh, all under this the the battery management system is also indigenously built they've used uh, india's software prowess so uh, the idea was if you have such a software software giant uh, that India is known for globally, why not develop an in-house battery management system? Uh, there are connected features, uh, complete feedback of the performance of the vehicle and safety inputs are relayed back to the driver. Uh, let's quickly uh, come on this side you of course have the the branding and a smooth uh, uh, rear uh, you you have the uh, hazard lights you warning lights for uh, every uh, man resource at a warehouse or a shop floor plant while uh, the the vehicle uh, is uh, plying on the shop floor you also have guided navigation so you have a blue light that is thrown on the floor so anybody who sees that knows that the forklift is approaching towards them uh, this is the Curtis screen that I was talking about you have multiple modes in this so you have a, a, a fast normal and a slow mode whereby depending on your duty cycle your requirement for the day you can ensure that the battery is conserved these are the levers that do the magic you put them in the neutral mode and ensure that you are lifting uh, uh, from the front or also tilting to go underneath the pellet and uh, secure the pellet so broadly this machine uh, is the start of uh, perhaps further evolution of the Godrej material handling equipment product range where different technologies will coexist the focus is on the export market uh, markets like uh, uh, Indonesia markets like the Middle East and in India starting with focus on regions like North India which are expected to contribute significantly to the overall revenue of the company uh, with that we end uh, our review at road check with CV and we'll come back to you with another exciting segment another exciting vehicle in the upcoming episodes.